Hi, I'm Bulavinak, everyone. This is Paya on my channel, Pigeon Girl Learning. I am so happy to be talking to you guys about how moving back to the capital, Suga City, will leverage my language skills in French, Japanese, Korean, and Chinese. Let's get started. Um, so I will be moving back to the capital in February of 2024. And uh, prior to moving back, I have been organizing myself really well. I have been going down uh, on several trips to the capital to set up um, all my stuff. And I had also visited Allianz Francaise de Suba to renew, to apply for membership there since I had learned French from there. It's really great to reconnect with people and the staff from Alliance Frances that um, knew me when I first started uh, learning French there. Uh, they were so happy to see me. I was um, really happy to see them as well. And we caught up a little and um, we will catch up more when February comes. So for my Japanese, I learned Japanese from uh, Japanese expats. Um, they were really lovely ladies. I had thoroughly enjoyed my time with them and getting to know their children, their families, their friends. It was so lovely. And if you don't know, I um, had I had co-authored a book with uh, one of my Japanese friends. It's called uh, Easy Japanese for Pacific Islanders, and um, I'm still working on it. We're supposed we were supposed to publish it like in 2023, and uh, due to all my like uh, movements because of uh, personal reasons and work, I haven't been able to get around to publishing my book. Uh, everything else has been set up all right. It's been registered with uh, my university's library, so it's all good. We're just I need to do that by 2024 so I can have a hard copy in my hand and uh, a lot of people are looking forward to that. Now for Korean, I had learned Korean um, through several uh, teachers uh, via private lessons and then I had also attended uh, Suba Korean school um, for some formal lessons there. It was really great. I, I really enjoyed it. So I'm planning to reconnect uh, through one of my uh, SNS uh, supporter uh, friends and uh, we should be seeing that place uh, again frequently in 2024. Finally, for Chinese, I have uh, so many Chinese uh, uh, friends in Suva and acquaintances and students, so uh, it's really exciting to get to see them uh, when I return. They're also excited to um, get me, uh, I mean, to, for my return to the capital, so we have a lot of um, uh, formal things organized, uh, classes and all these things, because I do also uh, tutor students in English, so I'm really looking forward to seeing them in person. And if you don't know, uh, one of my students in China um, has been topping his class, and I'm really happy for him and his family. I'm, we have been working really hard to ensure that his uh, English is uh, doing progressively well. So yes, I am from Suba City and I just came to the western side for a year. I really enjoyed uh, the whole experience of getting to know the western side a lot more um, throughout these whole 12 months and I really uh, cherish all the relationships I have been able to uh, nurture and create with the people I've met on this side of uh, Fiji. And I hope to continue that uh, when I return to the capital.